Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chan, and just like that, Miss Gail Lewis is back. She talks about the airport, she talks about the trip to Europe, she shows us a photo, and she gives us some text messages. Let's just get into it. So my original post um, was about me seeing him and her for the first time in the airport. I admitted that I was shocked. I was. And the video was only about seven seconds where I said, have a good flight. I think I said, hey, Harold, have a good flight. And I walked on off. So in the beginning of this video, Gail was talking about how she had made a video earlier this morning and it's their 28th anniversary, right? The 28th wedding anniversary. And she went on to say that she didn't feel like she really needed to explain this, but it was the part about her dating him when he was actually married. And that's the part we're going to get into. But this part that she just finished talking about, I'll show you that video when she actually saw them in the airport. Because like I said, they were both going to the same place. And when she saw them, she went and said what she said to him. And she turned around and she left. Hold on. Oh, oh my God. Good morning, Harold. How are you? Good to see you. Hope you have a good flight. I'll see you on the flight. So you could hear it in her voice, right? That was the first time that she saw them together. I do think that they were already separated. It had already been understood what was going on. But she had said she didn't know what she would do. And that was the first time because you could hear her say, oh, my God. Like, you could just imagine. It's one thing to hear about it, but it's another thing to see it. Now, let's get into the part about her and her husband, how they met and the situation that was going on and how it ended. Let's go. But when I was um, introduced to him, I was told he was not married. Only to find out later that he was. So I told him then that I did not deal with married men and that I didn't want to do anything to some other woman that I didn't want done to me. And I meant that, and I still hold to that. So, of course, he gave me the stand that, you know, we've been having problems and all that kind of stuff. And um, whenever I would talk to him, I would tell him, I would he would try to be hitting on me, but I would knock it right down because I wasn't attracted to him. My husband was overweight, morbidly obese, actually. Um, but he was a nice guy. But when I would talk to him, I would encourage him to stay with his wife and kids. And I thought he thought that was the oddest thing, but that's what I would do. I would encourage him because I didn't like him like that. And I was like, you're married, so this can't, ain't going anywhere. And so it's like the classic tale, you know what I'm saying? Like, dude sees girl, dude has girl at home with holy matrimony, but dude sees girl out, dude wants girl. Dude doesn't have to tell girl that he has holy matrimony at home. That's crazy. And then she went on to say that he would send her jewelry and he would send her gifts and things like that. Let's keep going. So lo and behold, he tells me that he's going to divorce her. He started his um, um, process and that, you know, he wanted me um, to be his girl and all that kind of stuff. Actually gave me some diamond earrings to let me know. He was like, this is to let you know that I'm super duper serious about this thing. So I was like, well, OK, then, because during this whole time, I would not. I, we had no intimate relationship or any of that for like three months because actually I was calling him. Um, Al, Al, Al Bundy, and he didn't even know why I was calling him that, because he was like, why you always call me Al Bundy? And I was like, because you married with children, and I don't mess with Al Bundy, so whatever, right? So once he um, started his divorce proceedings, um, he asked me what I date him. So I did. So there may be some fault there where I started dating him before his actual divorce was final, but I made sure that he had um, filed divorce, because that's what he told me. So I think a lot of people do that. I think once someone files for divorce, and if the man is separated, the woman lives somewhere else, people date. So I know a lot of people have been saying that Gail was a side chick. I don't think Gail was a side chick. I think Gail did not want to be a side chick. She could have been. But if he's separated and he's going through the divorce proceedings and he ended up getting a divorce, it was just par for the course. Like, I'm dating now because I'm going to eventually do that anyway. So let's start with her. But he did lie to her when they got to New Orleans because there was a phone call that had come through and she found out that he lied. <laughs> 
Now, honestly, this is a red flag. I don't know why Gail kept going with this dude. Well, I know why she kept going with him, but she should not have. Because, hold on. Um, but um, I'll say that, you know, maybe me dating him before the divorce was final um, was wrong. And I'll take accountability for that, but I can't go back, you know, 30 years now and um, correct that. I'm just trying to move forward and do what's right. But, you know, um, uh, Miss Thing uh, is trying to, like, paint this narrative like, oh, she was doing the same thing. Not the same thing at all, because I, my whole time I was encouraging him to stay with his people. She did not. I have the text messages between them from the day they met to, you know, all the, the things that he was telling her, the things she was telling him and telling him that she didn't have anything and that she left her, her family with just the clothes on her back and, you know, just this little sob, sob story for him. So I guess he went with it. But like I said, y'all, this was originally about me posting a video of me seeing them for the first time in the airport. So I ain't judging her. I ain't gonna judge him. Like I said, I'm not, you know, but it ain't like I willfully went out um, and decided like, I'm gonna go and destroy his family. She went on to say that she never really talked to his former wife before her, but since all this has happened, she has heard that she has said, now she knows, now she knows how he is. And then she said that she was tired. The former wife was saying that she was tired of going to the doctor from him giving her things, allegedly. Child, hold on. You know, because I think I mentioned in the earlier video about him telling me about how she was not having um, any, any kind of intimate relationship with him. And he thought it was because she was depressed and, you know, had some postpartum and all of that. Turns out, word got back to me, she was like, I wasn't depressed or I didn't have post, I didn't have postpartum either. It was because I was tired of being in the doctor's office because he kept giving me stuff. So, you know, I'm going to just leave it there, guys. So Gail said that once she realizes what she can and cannot say and she has more she can say, she said she's going to come back and talk to us and tell us more. And she did figure out how to post photos on TikTok as well. But she did talk about a Europe trip. So when we first met Gail and she was saying how he was on a business trip in Europe and she was trying to get dinner ready and she had called the airport, well... He and her were coming off of her, Sabrina's, birthday trip to Europe. She said they had gone to Tuscany, Paris, Amsterdam, and all of that, right? So, I have the videos or the photos and the text that she talked about. Let's get into it. Hold on. So, here they are on the plane coming back from her birthday trip to Europe. Like, how... Is it ever an age when they stop, you know? And she's young, right? She's young. And you heard Gail say that when she met him, she had told told him that she left with the clothes on her back. So now, now she's about to do a podcast with Claudia Jordan and friends. Let's keep going. So here's a text message thread between Harold and Lovebug, right? He calls her PYT. He lets her know about the Amsterdam. One more sleep until I see my baby. She's ready to see him. Child, hold on. Hope you're having a great day, pretty girl. I'm back in Florence for the last round at dinner and we'll smoke at least one when I finish. This is the hardest 25K ever. I'm not complaining though because he is doing it. I love you some I love me some you. By the way, I ended up having to buy some wine at the winery. So I'm guessing this is to Gail, right? Because remember she said in that first video that he worked really hard at that speaking engagement in Europe. Child. It's the love bug for me. It's driving me crazy. I don't have a problem with a little pet name, but that love bug is just doing something to me. Um until Gail just lets us know more. It's your girl, Billy China. We can talk about it. Bye, y'all.